Hey guys, Andrew Esquivel here, and I've come back with another sort of fishy tip and trick for you. Actually, it's not fishy, it's snaily. So, maybe you've just gotten your first snail, or you've had your snails for a while, and you might not be too familiar with the way they act, and you might think, well, my little buddy hasn't moved in a while, is he okay? And the fact of the matter is, yes, snails do tend to hibernate for a lot of different reasons. It could be due to bad water conditions, or it could be something as simple as they have eaten, and they are sleepy, and are going to just lay back and digest for a while. But if you're not sure, there's a very easy way to tell if your snail is dead or alive. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just pick up one of my mystery snails here, and we got a jade. So. When a snail dies, it decomposes very quickly. And when it decomposes, it releases a ton of ammonia. This is really bad for your tank, but you will be able to smell the ammonia. It'll be a very pungent, disgusting, odorous smell. And all you gotta do, and this is gonna seem kinda weird, but trust me, this works. Take your snail, and you sniff it. If it doesn't smell like anything, your little buddy's probably alive, and he's just kind of just chilling out in his shell. But if it smells really bad, chances are your little buddy has passed away. So, it's very important if you have a melancholy snail that just doesn't move around a lot to check like this once in a while, because if your little buddy has passed away and is releasing tons of ammonia, it's what I like to call an ammonia bomb, and it can cause spikes in your tank and you don't want spikes in your tank so people with a ton of snails can have a massive die-off and have a domino effect because of this one snail dies releases ammonia the ammonia is toxic kills another snail and that's even more ammonia and more and more and more and then things spike up and start killing the tank you know things like that can be really detrimental if you don't have a really good system set up so uh, that's just one reason to check. Now, you might be thinking, well, why do snails hibernate? You were saying something about maybe they're just digesting. Yes, this is true. Snails, like assassin snails, for instance, will eat their prey and then basically hibernate for about two to three days and then become active again. Mystery snails uh, can be more active than that. They'll be crawling around and whatnot, and if they want to conserve energy, they often hide in their shells for a while, and maybe this is a sign that they're not being fed enough. Mystery snails are not really all that good at eating algae, and people just assume because it's the snail that it does. And mystery snails need a much more complex diet. You should be feeding them vegetables, like blanched cucumber, for instance, or certain things like romaine lettuce, things high in calcium, which are, well, foods that you would probably eat. And this makes mystery snail care a little more difficult, and people don't seem to realize this, and that can cause them to be a bit melancholy. Nerite snails are very sensitive to water parameters if they're in a freshwater tank, because technically, nerite snails are brackish water snails. But they can live and thrive in freshwater, they just won't breed in freshwater successfully. So, if the freshwater is not just right, the snails will recede into their shells, and just not move around much at all, when normally a healthy nearite snail will be zooming across the tank constantly eating all the algae it possibly can. So there's a lot of reasons why a snail would hibernate. And checking on a hibernating snail is important to make sure the rest of your buddies don't die from a domino effect. So I hope this little blurb was helpful and informative. If it is, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, show your friends, check out my other videos. i got plenty of them, and as always, I'll see you next time. Stay fishy.